morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shannon with smartcruiser.com and welcome to the beautiful Bermuda. I am so excited to be here and show you all the shore excursion we're doing today. We currently sail here on, oh it's windy today, on the Norwegian Prima. So if you missed that ship tour video, be sure to go check that out. But let's go have some fun today in Bermuda. So it's pretty cool. As soon as you get off the cruise ship, you're at um, an old fort here in Bermuda. I'm sure I'm going to learn more about this fort on our tour so I'll tell you more about it but it's absolutely beautiful and then look at how gorgeous our ship is Norwegian Prima. One thing I really loved about this tour company is they sent me an email and I've never had this happen before they sent an email with a map of the port and highlighted like a picture of like where we're supposed to meet and it made me feel so good about the tour because I was like oh I'm not gonna oh gosh I messed up my hair I'm not gonna have to go looking all over for where to meet on this tour I already know right where to go so we're heading there now all right so I'm coming to the point on the pier where all these shore excursions are meeting so you all can see here as soon as you get off the ship just walk down and there will be plenty of people around holding signs so you can easily find which tour you boat kind of putting you a little bit more at ease on your Bermuda short excursion day. All right, here we are. I found where I'm supposed to be. Bermuda full private custom tours of Bermuda. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Up. There you go. Oh yeah, we gotta get the logo. <laughs> All right, here is the bus we will be on going around Bermuda. So understanding that Bermuda uh, was evolved from a volcano and went after everything settled what was left is known as sand dunes, sand dunes. Now these sand dunes, after about a million and a half years, turned into what is known as limestone rock. Now, this area here, the dockyard area, which is at the western side of the island, this area did not get inhabited until the late 1700s, early 1800s. So all of these buildings you see around here are actually made out of or built out of Bermuda limestone rock. Now this is when that rock was very, very dense. It's when they first caught it. So in some areas it was very difficult. So, it, so in actual fact, some of these walls are like almost a, a, a foot thick because wow. they just had to work with whatever came out of the quarry at that time. That is one of the oldest uh, buildings in the western side of the island being built in the early 1800s, the 1977 riots. And it was the worst riots in our history. Buildings were burned, lives were lost, and of course, looting the whole nine yards that goes on with that. Are you familiar with America's Cup? Yeah. Okay, well, this is where they would have that race right here. Okay? And up here on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. these, my friends, is what we call the cheap seats. <laughs> so throughout the tour, you're not going to see any graffiti anywhere. Okay, so the government came up with a, with a compromise and they allow folks to put a memorial. Oh. Now the concept actually came from China. So oh. China invented the Moon Gate. Oh. However, we use the Bermuda limestone rock. Hence the reason why we call it the Bermuda Moon Gate. It comes in white and it also comes in orange. Now, have you ever seen the cross-pollinated hibiscus? No. In Trinidad. In Trinidad, okay. It's, it's, it's one of the most beautiful things you want to see. So for the benefit of those folks who have not seen it, um, let's take a look at it. Now uh, this year we had a racket amount of rails, hundreds of rails. Uh, so the streets were lined with cars, boats out in the water. Because we do this thing, which is becoming very popular, uh, we do whale watching. So folks actually fly into Bermuda just to see the whales. So uh, of course they come here to breed. And then uh, once they do what they got to do, they move on to the colder climates like Alaska uh, to have their little ones. Now it was damaged in a hurricane, extensively damaged, and the owners of the property at the time did not want to invest any more funds into the hotel, so they would put the property up for sale. We have a very wealthy family on the island known as the Greens, the Green family. Now the Greens would purchase this property. All right, so stop number one takes us to our lighthouse here. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen here, like the sign for it. This is actually one of the oldest 
um, cast iron, I think he said, lighthouses in the world. It was built in 1846. There's about 100 and I want to say 80, he said, steps to the top. I'm trying to remember everything he told us about the lighthouse before I came on to tell you all. So you can go to the very top and get a beautiful view of Bermuda. And this is just gorgeous up here. So our stop here is only 15 minutes, but I'm going to see if I have time to run into the souvenir shop just to check it out and see what's over on this side of the lighthouse. So this is pretty neat. Outside they have a giant map of Bermuda. You guys can see um, some of the things they highlight. The forts, the lighthouses, the hiking trails, the railways. Pretty awesome. So this is where we are docked over here on the cruise ship and we are here right now at the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. So pretty cool. And this is the famous Horseshoe Bay Beach. That's the pink sand beach. Um, and then we're just gonna keep making our way. So I am going to wrap up my time here and head back to the bus. There are restrooms here if you do want to know that. And then it is on to our next stop. Look at how To our beautiful. right, my friends, this is known as the Horseshoe Bay Beach. Now, of course, it's called the Horseshoe Bay because it's actually in the shape of a horseshoe. And I can almost tell you, guarantee you, the people that are in the water that's swimming, those are tourists. So everything from trucks to paper clips are imported. Okay, hence the reason why the cost of living is high. So this is our oiled uh, cargo docks here. So everything has to come here before it's transported around the island. To our right, the grayish color building there, that's the cabinet building. Now that, my friends, is where the government will make those decisions and policies. And they would, because all this was one big gigantic rock. So they would put people to work by digging a tunnel to get to the other side of the island. Now all the Bermuda limestone rock that came out of here, they would transport it by horse and buggy back to Bernard's Park. Because that, my friends, used to be a, a marsh. So they would fill the marsh in with all the Bermuda limestone rock that came out of here. So, because of that, uh, folks would bring their children here uh, to teach them how to swim. As you can see, it's a kid-friendly. They have the, uh, the playground. And then on the far side over here is the community field. So it's kind of family-orientated beach, right? Okay, so we arrived at our next stop. We are in the town of St. George on the island of Bermuda. Now this used to be the capital city and we have quite a bit of time here. We have about 45 minutes to just hang out. So I figured we'll just hang out and see what there is. This is beautiful though. Let me show you guys some of the beautiful shots I can get here in St. George on Bermuda. And good to know for you all, this is going to be a brand new cruise port here in Bermuda, hopefully opening up by tourist season next April. So we'll keep you informed. Be sure to head to smartcruiser.com for more information and find the St. George Bermuda um, stop because this is beautiful. nice park area here right on the edge of the water here in St. George. We're gonna walk over this bridge and see what we can find. So beautiful here. One thing I love about doing these island tours is it makes me want to come back. Like there's so many spots that we stopped by. We saw all these different beautiful beaches, lookout points, things to do and now I'm like okay now I need a full trip to Bermuda. <laughs> Hello Sir George Summers. All right, so I walked up to, I want to say this is St. Peter's Church. I'm pretty 100% positive that's what it is. It's a historic site here that you can actually tour. And then I found the Atal Juice Factory. What's up? <laughs> and I got a smoothie. So we're going to go ahead back now because I think we have to get back to the ship soon. That's the only down part. We only had like a few hours here today, but it's a place I definitely want to come back and explore more because this is beautiful. Yeah, it is St. Peter's. 
I put together a very good smoothie. This is like strawberry, banana, blueberries, avocado, and coconut water. This is so delicious and refreshing because it's hot out here today. All right, so we have arrived at our final stop just to make a quick stop to see a gorgeous beach here. And you can see it does have that pink tint. Now that pink tint does come from the coral and shells out there on the reef. It's so beautiful. The water is just stunning blue. It does look like a very rough beach for swimming, so be careful if you do decide to swim here. All right, so we have made it back to our beautiful Norwegian Prima ship. As I mentioned before, if you haven't checked out our cruise ship tour of this ship yet, do so because it is incredible. It's a video just right before this because we just sailed to Bermuda and back from New York City, which is awesome. What an amazing tour. I highly, highly recommend doing that. All you do is kind of go around the island, get to know it a little bit, and then you know what to do when you come back as well and come back for a longer stay in Bermuda.